all here today to celebrate the love of Laura and Mike and to be witnesses and supporters of the love they share and the commitment they're about to make to one another. Together, we are their village, a group of the most important people in their lives, and they have brought us here to publicly recognize that we have all played a role in the love they share and the special day they have today. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. She is one of the most important people in my life. She's my longest friend. Uh, she's an amazing aunt to my children. She's someone I would walk through fire for. Despite our ups or downs and our typical sisterly love fight relationship, her, her happiness will always bring me happiness. So I've known Mike for a long time and I've seen him grow as a person. Um, you've grown with your family, grown with your career. Um, and I think you've made a lot of smart moves over time. And like, and I think actually the smartest move you've made in life is right here, marrying Laura. So happy to see you guys together. I know you're gonna have an amazing, happy life together. Oh my god, it looks so amazing, your whole dress. Yeah. Sorry it took so long. I love you. In talking with Mike and Laura, they've been together for six years. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. It's telling the person you love that you're not going anywhere, and that's a powerful commitment for two people to make to one another. Um, I confess I did not write vows. Um, I am not a planner, and Laura knows that. I don't plan ahead. Um, so instead, I vow to never break character, because that would be out of character for me if I were to plan ahead and write a long-winded speech and how much I love you. Um, I, I vow to never break character and to uh, allow you to put me in check if I do. Uh, to always be myself and to wing it and uh, surprise you. So I vow to. Well, I wrote mine this morning at the in the retreat, so don't feel so bad. <laughs> First of all, thank you for showing up. Thank you. <laughs> um, Michael, my best friend, baby boo bear, in love of my life. I love you. You make me feel so safe. And, Every single moment of the day, marrying you feels like a dream, <laughs> especially in front of the people that you cherish and support us the most. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love how funny you are, how thoughtful you are, how considerate you are, caring, handsome, and how you're the best dad to be truly lucky. But most of all, I love that you love me. I kind of have more, but I'm just going to say, um, just, I promise to just, you know, try and make you to have as happy as you have made me. Yeah, and say, I vow to I'm always, really trying not to cry. <laughs> always put the dogs first. Uh, thank that's you. Laura's, <laughs> that's actually most that's Laura's biggest request, yeah. <laughs> I promise. Laura's second is a really yeah. great spot. It is. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Laura, do you take Mike to be your husband to live together in love and gratitude for all the days of your life? I do. Mike, do you take Laura to be your wife, to live together in love and gratitude for all the days of your life? I do. So now, with a lot of joy and the blessings of Rocky and Chewy, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sion. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle of this. Cause now I dream about you. I 
was probably too drunk It's blurry, but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't It's only one.